In the Nest by Anna Milborn and Lawrence Clayton Merle. With thanks to Dr. J S. James Reynolds, University of Birmingham, for information about birds and nests. Edited by Jillian Doherty and Jenny Tyler. Designed by Laura Fern and Laura Park. This is the title page. All day long, a little bird flies to and fro. What do you think she's doing? She's carrying twigs to the cherry tree. She weaves the twigs around and around to make a tidy nest. Then she lays five speckled eggs inside and snuggles up to keep them warm. Tucked away inside the nest, the little bird's eggs are safe from harm. A hungry fox would like to gobble them up, but he can't reach that high. There's another nest in the cherry tree. It's hidden away inside the trunk. And there's one in the muddy river bank too. The little bird sits on her eggs and waits. She doesn't leave the nest, not even when she's hungry. The father bird brings seeds for her to eat. One day, there's a tap, tap, tap. Quickly, the little bird hops off the nest. The first tiny baby cracks out of his egg. He doesn't look much like a bird. His eyes are shut tight, and he doesn't have a single feather. All the other babies hatch out too. They open their beaks wide and squawk for food. Their mother and father bring juicy bugs. The babies gulp them down and squawk for more. Soon the baby birds grow fluffy feathers. They open their eyes and look around. They grow bigger and bigger until they're much too squashed in the little nest. One of the babies flaps his wings. He flaps and flaps, but he doesn't take off. So he jumps off the nest and flaps some more. He's flying for the very first time. Before long, the other baby birds start flying too. They swoop and soar up, up, and away. All the little birds have gone, but maybe one will come back next year. The end.